Welcome to Pool Addiction, where I like to do pool and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pool and billiards related for that matter. And in this review, we're going to be doing things a little similar, but a bit different from the videos I've done in the past. The similar thing is, we're doing another shaft review. However, it's not a carbon fiber shaft. Also, I plan on taking this video, uh, this review, and breaking it into two di different videos. The first video being the, my initial unboxing and thoughts on the shaft, and the second one being all the low deflection performance tests I've done in my videos. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is twofold. One, I wanted to take the longer video and break it up into two smaller videos for the audience, for you guys, to see if that's what you like. But I also have another reason, and that is I'm installing a new billiards light over the table that's gonna give us better image quality with those low deflection tests. So I don't know if this is gonna be something you guys like or not. I'll tell you what, let me know, do you like the two-parter smaller version videos or the one longer vi uh, version down in the comment section below. Now the shaft we're reviewing today is the Tsunami shaft. Not Tsunami, Tsunami, HSU. And it's made by RGHQs, whose founder is Richard Sue. <laughs> you see what he did there? Tsunami, H his last name, HSU, Nami. Anyways, his wood shaft is a torrified shaft. Now you may be asking, what is a torrified shaft? Well, it's a shaft that goes into the oven where they get rid of all the moisture out of the wood. And this makes the wood, uh, the shaft very stiff and low deflection. Now you may also have, been, have heard uh, of torrified shafts also as keel wood. They're the same thing. They go through this torrification process to get rid of all the moisture to make them low deflection. It also gives them a nice darker color uh, than your normal type of shaft. Now these shafts, these type of shafts have been around for a while and I don't know what Richard does for his, but they're pretty special and there's a lot of raving reviews about them. These shafts can be customized in pretty much any way you want. Joint type, length, coll uh, joint collar type, uh, whether you want ring work or not. Uh, if you want a ferrule, no ferrule, whatever tip you want on it, he can do. He can do what, pretty much whatever tip size you want. Anything you want, you can do pretty much through his website. He also sells some standardized ones through Pool Dog. However, you gotta be really diligent about them because they do sell off pretty fast. And it also, his customization could take a little while due to the demand. So the shaft is a customized shaft from Richard Sue. It's a 30 inch long shaft with a radial joint pin type. The joint collar is just a standard black collar and it has a 12 millimeter how medium tip on it, which is the tip that he recommended for a shaft at the time it was made. Now I've never played with a how tip before, so we'll see how that plays as well. I also asked him what he recommended for a ferrule and he pretty much said a vault plate type uh, white ferrule is what he recommended, so that's what I went with. Now full disclaimer on this shaft, he sent it to me free of charge to do this review. And even though he knows it's a non-biased review, he was still fully confident and stands by his product. So let's see how this thing stacks up against the rest and how it plays. But first, let's get to the table and get a closer look at the shaft. All right, let's see how this shaft came to me. This is the box right here. Let's open it up. Okay, so this is how the shaft looks. It's pretty nice. Richard puts on these stickers here to keep track of them and what uh, all your specs to your order. So that's pretty nice. One thing I'm really impressed with is, is how he ships his shafts. He has this uh, PVC uh, that goes into the box with the bubble wrap around it with the shaft in the middle, keeps it nice and secure so it's not gonna get banged up during shipment. That is really, really impressive and kind of over the top in my opinion when it comes to shipping these shafts. He also has this plastic sleeve that it was in and that helps protect it when it's inside the PVC uh, pipe so it doesn't bang around. So anyways, this is a torrified shaft. It has this signature brownish look that's, that's uh, common with torrification uh, type of shafts. And here's the, the Tsunami uh, logo. It's nice and smooth. It has a really nice finish. It's a little glossy, but you can really see the wood grain within the, the darker color shaft. It's really, really nice. Now, Richard makes these in pretty much anything you want. Uh, he makes them completely custom, joint size, joint type, tip size, 
type of tip, type of ferrule that you want, pretty much anything you want. He has an order form on his site. You just fill it out and he'll make it to order. He also has recently started uh, selling his on pool dog. And those are you know, obviously prefab type, uh, type of shafts. So you can also buy them there. But you know, if you really want something made to order, go with him and order it and you won't be disappointed. For this particular shaft, I actually ordered it in 30 inches because I don't really have a larger than standard shaft. Plus my BQ, even though it says it's a standard 29 inch shaft, it still is, it's about 29 and a half inches really. So I wanted to go a little bit longer, give it a go and see what it's like. And I had to say, I really like the look of this shaft. It really looks nice. I went with a 12 millimeter tip with a how medium on tip on the shaft itself. This is the first time I've ever gonna play with a how tip. I'm really, really interested to see how it feels and everything. I also went with the small white vault plate style ferrule instead of anything longer. This is also kind of based off of Richard's uh, uh, recommendations. And I think it actually is kind of nice. I, I, I think I definitely prefer it that way. So anyways, let's get some specs off of here and see how accurate the measurements are from the specs I actually requested from him. So I got my, my micrometer here. Let's go ahead and give it a, a measure. And it looks like we're at 12.03. So that's pretty darn close to my spec of 12. All right, I'm kind of curious what the weight is. So got my weight scale. There we go, finally got a zero. This thing's really sensitive. It looks like it's coming in at 3.804 ounces. All right, let's get a length on this thing. Like I said, I custom ordered it for 30 inches. Let's see what we're looking at. It looks like we're right at 30 and a quarter inches. So if you were to subtract off the length of the tip, that's right at 30 inches. And it looks like the pro style taper ends right about 15 inches. So that's a nice length on the uh, taper itself. I have to say, I really like this coloring on this shaft and everything. It really brings out the look of the grain of the shaft and it's such a smooth finish. Um, I'm not quite sure what he does to finish it off, but it feels really durable and everything. Like I said, he does a full custom order on these things. So one thing you do is you give him a measurement of your joint on your cue butt to make sure this marries up perfect and you don't have any lip. So let's see what that looks like. goes on nice and smooth and easy and there's absolutely no lip there it's a perfect matching for this cue butt so man i am i'm really excited to get started playing with this thing and everything so let's get done with this uh talking about all the specs and let's see how this thing shoots
I've had this shaft for a few months now, so I decided to go ahead and give you my extended thoughts as well as my initial thoughts all wrapped into one and let you know what I think about this shaft. Let's first talk about the length, it being a 30 inch long shaft. This is the first time I've ever played with a 30 inch shaft and I don't know if it really affected my playing that much, but I will say this, the balance felt great and it felt like I had more control over my cue when shooting. And I'd like to attribute that to the extra length in the shaft. The taper on it was a great length. It didn't feel weird in the bridge hand at all, felt very smooth. And I really liked the choice I made with the 12 millimeter tip. I think for my shooting style, it is a perfect fit with this shaft. Now the hit, the feedback and the feel, as well as the action, let's talk about that for a minute. The hit was nice and it felt pretty crisp and no tinker tonk, it, and it just felt natural. The feedback was very minimal, which is something I like. I don't like having a lot of feedback in my cue when shooting, so it was very minimal. I liked that a lot. And the feel, the overall feel of the shot, and that includes the hit and the feedback. And I'll go say this right now. This is the best shaft I've ever played with, period. The hit and the feel, all that combined, was great. Uh, it just felt natural, it felt true. Every time I made my shots, they felt like they stayed online perfect. And granted, that's a little bit with aiming and everything, but it, the shaft just felt great. The action is a little bit muted compared to carbon fiber shafts, and, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. There's carbon fiber shafts I played out there, played with out there that have action at the littlest amount of effort you put into the shot, whereas this one doesn't do that. However, if you put in a little bit more action into it, or a little bit more effort into it, you will get that action you're looking for. So it's still capable of doing that good action, but when you want it, you just put in that little extra effort. And I really like that, because it really sucks when you put in a very touch shot and you get too much spin transfer off onto the cue ball. So do I have any cons for this shaft? Well, I wouldn't really call them cons as more as critiques. Something worth noting, but not necessarily a bad thing. And really one of them's having to do with the shaft, and the other one's having to do with the tip. And the shaft one is the finish overall. He puts an, a, a glossier type of finish on the shaft itself, which can cause a little bit more friction. Now those of you that wear a glove won't notice this friction at all, but the non-glove wearers will notice a little bit of extra friction with that glossier finish. And it's something you just kind of get used to over time. It's not a huge bad thing. I don't like a lot of friction in my bridge hand, but I was easily able to get used to it. So it's something worth noting. The other thing has to do with the tip. I normally like playing with soft tips. However, Richard recommended with the how tips to go with a medium because the softs tend to mushroom easily. Well, in my experience, even the medium tip tend to mushroom fairly easily in that I've had to correct a mushrooming probably about two or three times since I've been playing with it, which is a little bit more frequent than what I normally uh, deal with. So maybe going with a how hard tip next time but that's more than having to do with the tip itself. Now, as far as the tip holding chalk and transferring spin in the feel, I have no complaints about the how tip. It does play really, really well. I do enjoy that. I just didn't like the fact that I had to correct the mushrooming that often. So what I recommend this shaft based off of what I've done so far minus the performance tests. And I would say unequivocally, yes, this is in my experience, the best wood shaft I have ever played with, period. I absolutely love it. And it's my primary player right now in league. Um, so I, that's that speaks volumes that it's kind of beat out some of my carbon fiber shafts. So yes, I would definitely recommend it. So I forgot to add one very important thing to the video, and that is the price. If you go to his website, uh, RJHQs, it goes from $3.99 and goes up from there based off the customization that you do. If you want the more standardized version off a of pool dog that he does the pre-mades with and everything, those go from $3.89 if they're in supply. I'll put links in the description below for his website as well as the link uh, for pool dog itself. And one thing other to note since I'm here finishing up the editing and doing this filming real quick is evidently I didn't really save a whole lot of time doing it in a two-parter. So at least in the next video, the part two, the performance slow motion footage will actually hopefully be a lot better with a new lighting that will be installed. So stay tuned. So that's it for the part one review of this shaft. Hopefully you liked what you saw and you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for the part two where we do all the low deflection tests underneath the new billiards light. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time to do so. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I put out the new videos and you can enjoy the second part of this review. And until the next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you.